My first impressions of the Life Sciences Building bring great joy and great excitement. And this is a building that works for today's students and also for the world into which they will enter in, I think, beautiful ways. This building houses biology, the chemistry, biochemistry, health and human science, civil engineering, environmental engineering. You learn science by doing science. So when you look at this over 100,000 square feet of space, most of that space is dedicated to laboratories, science on display. A lot of class that really invites those to be curious about science and what is going on in laboratory, what kind of experiments are going on within those walls. There are 19 AV equipped teaching labs in this building. So if a faculty member wants to hear from a student who's working on a microscope hooked up to a laptop at a bench, they can call on them and say, hey, push your microscope up to the screen right here. This room features full video conferencing capabilities. They could bring in guest lecturers or have the students in this room actually present to classes at other locations. My research has been mostly um, involved with environmental issues. The new life science building has a variety of features on it that we will be able to make use of in the classroom. The students will definitely be doing research uh, on the green roof. There's also uh, solar panels on the roof. The building is plumbed to be able to handle recycled water. There's also kind of ingenious ways to cool the building to minimize the amount of uh, energy required to do that. The diseases that I specifically focus on and look at are type 2 diabetes and Alzheimer's disease. The students here are the researchers. They work with me, but when the time comes to put the gloves on and get to work, they're the ones coming in and doing the actual experiments. They're the scientists. My area of interest is in bone health, so I study you know, how diet and exercise prevents osteoporosis. If I'm studying bone, bone mineral density, then that might collaborate nicely and easily with somebody who's studying balance and falls because those are related to bone fractures. Or a colleague who's studying maybe muscle and strength because that's also related to the skeleton and bone strength. We've really clustered uh, groups in this building based on areas of interest and areas of focus. So the building itself allows for that fostering of interdisciplinary conversation. Well, we, we pride ourselves on being a student-centric university. Students come first. I think this building is sort of showcasing that. Our goal, our hope, is that when they leave here, they have all the tools that are necessary to excel in any sort of lab that they walk into. When we learn, when we carry out our scholarship, when we engage in service, I always say we're doing it for those here, for those to come, and for the earth itself. This building is in sync with all three of those facets. And I think it expresses our nation and Marymount traditions in the ways they should be expressed actively.